All right, um, we're gonna have a go at uh, tempering our center punch, uh, which means heating it up until it's bright red, uh, dipping it in the oil in order to temper it and make it a harder crystalline steel on the outside. First thing I need to do is put my safety gear on. So I put an apron on. Once I've got my apron on, I've got my safety glasses on. Nice and clear. I've got my uh, center punch ready to go. I've got my flint lighter. I also need gloves. You need to be aware that oxyacetylene torches uh, can heat steel up to uh, zero to 3000 degrees, which is very, very hot. Uh, you don't want to be touching any of that stuff with a naked hand. Take your center punch, place it in the vise over near the oxyacetylene torch. Nice and hot. We're just going to be heating the top section and that's it. Now I've got my flint to light up my oxyacetylene. When you come to use your oxyacetylene, uh, there's lots of things you need to know. First thing, I've got my handpiece. I want to check that oxygen, blue, zero is off, and fuel, the acetylene, red is off as well. Both are off. I come to the cylinders and looking at them on this dial, uh, it tells me I've got zero and pressure I've got zero. So I need to first open the cylinder up. That opens my oxygen, open my acetylene up, and just adjust the regulator until we're somewhere in the cut zone. So I'm just going to put it at about 250 kilopascals of oxygen. And for my acetylene, I'll put it at around the 70 mark. Now that has just allowed the acetylene and the oxygen to go into the pipes. I then have a separate individual regulator for this handpiece. So I need to, once my handpiece is off, I need to turn on my acetylene, turn on my oxygen. Open those taps right up. You'll notice nothing's on the gauge. I need to wind in the regulator and obviously it won't go any higher than what I've set the outside cylinders anyway. All right, so the regulators are on both those. The taps are on. There is now a fuel, acetylene and oxygen in my handpiece, but both have been turned off. To ignite the handpiece, we don't use a lighter, we use a flint, a flint. And we just turn on a little bit of fuel. Strike that. And there is my acetylene. Now that'll be a smoky flame and that's okay. A little bit more acetylene. And now I'm going to bring oxygen into it, which will turn that flame blue. Now, what we are after is the white cone in the center. That is the hottest part of the torch. I want to keep increasing the oxygen, increase the oxygen, until there is just a single cone. All right, once I've got that, very careful with that torch. And I can now heat up my center punch. I just want to heat the tip, that's all. No more than the tip and I want to get in that really hot zone which is at the end of that inner cone and that's going bright red very quickly. Very hot and once I've got, I'm going to put a little bit heat a little bit further down. Now to extinguish this, to turn off the oxyacetylene, I turn off my fuel. Then I turn off my oxygen and operating fairly quickly, I want to grab the, obviously not the top, the bottom, and dip that in the oil and just keep moving it around. Now it will let off a gas that's not particularly healthy to breathe in, so make sure you're in a well ventilated room. Keep agitating or moving the center punch in the oil to allow even cooling all the way around. One other thing to be aware of, it is possible for the red hot steel to ignite the oil. N unlikely, but it is possible. So make sure you know where you're gonna put that out, how you're gonna smother that. That will take a while to come down to temperature. 
just always be aware that that steel is going to still be hot even once it's been in the oil. And then once you're done, wipe it off. Again, still be aware that's going to be hot. So don't hold it with your naked hand. And there it is, center punch has been tempered.